will be given by Professor Francis Boyle. Uh, at this time, I ask uh, Professor Boyle, Francis Boyle to take up the podium. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. I'm very happy and honored to be uh, invited to come and speak to you today at this uh, conference of such critical importance for the Tamils on Sri Lanka and also uh, Tamil Elam. The Tamils on the island of Sri Lanka have been the victims of genocide as defined by the 1948 Genocide Convention. And I say that as the uh, first person ever to have won anything from the International Court of Justice on the basis of the Genocide Convention. I won three orders for Bosnia and Herzegovina against Yugoslavia to cease and desist from committing uh, all acts of genocide against the Bosnians. And the fact that the Tamils on Sri Lanka have been the victims of genocide only strengthens and reinforces their right of self-determination under international law, including establishing the independent state of Tamil Elam, uh, which is our ultimate objective here today. And I say that as legal advisor to the Palestine Liberation Organization on their Declaration of Independence that culminated November 29, 2012 with Palestine's recognition as an observer state by the United Nations General Assembly. Article 2 of the Genocide Convention defines genocide in relevant part as killing members of the group, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, and deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. For over the past six decades, the Sinhala Buddhist Ceylon Sri Lanka had implemented a systematic and comprehensive military, political, economic, cultural, linguistic, and religious campaign with intent to destroy in substantial part the different national, ethnical, racial, and religious groups constituting the Tamils. This campaign has consisted of killing members of the Hindu Christian Tamils in violation of Genocide Convention Article 2A, and a conservative estimate since 1983, let us say maybe 300,000. The campaign has caused serious bodily and mental harm to the Tamils in violation of Genocide Convention Article 2B. And yesterday I had addressed my comments to the mass rape of the Tamil women uh, and their sexual abuse, degradation, and prostitution that still goes on uh, today. And this campaign has also deliberately inflicted on the Tamils conditions of life calculated to bring about their physical destruction in substantial part in violation of Article 2C of the Genocide Convention. And this physical destruction continues today uh, as, as we meet. You can just keep reading the uh, pages, the headlines, to find out everything, one atrocity after another, after another, day in, day out. Uh, for now, over the past four years, it's still 
uh, continues. Now, apologists for Sri Lanka say, well, this is not the Nazi Holocaust against the Jews, and therefore it isn't genocide. Well, that's nonsense. I had to encounter and refute that same argument in the world court for the Bosnians when their lawyer, Rosen from Israel, argued that, well, uh, I'm an Israeli Jew, and what Yugoslavia is doing to the Bosnians uh, is not uh, genocide. And my response was quite simple to the world court, and they agreed with me. You do not need the Nazi Holocaust against the Jews uh, to qualify as genocide. Although I submit if we do not come up with a strategy to stop the government of Sri Lanka, we very well could be facing something along the lines uh, of a Nazi Holocaust against the Jews in Tamil Ila. Indeed, the whole purpose of the Genocide Convention was to prevent another Nazi Holocaust against the Jews. That's in uh, Article 1, where the parties undertake to prevent genocide. You do not need six million dead human beings to constitute genocide. So they set the threshold lower than the Nazi Holocaust uh, against the Jews. Indeed, for this reason, as I argued at the World Court successfully in 1993 for Bosnia, and I have also argued for the Tamils, Article 2 of the Genocide Convention says, quote, in the present convention, genocide means any of the following acts committed with intent to destroy in whole or in part a national, ethical, ethnical, racial, or religious group as such. So Sri Lanka does not have to intend to destroy all Tamils, just a part of the Tamils. And indeed, what I argued to the World Court successfully in 1993 to rebut Rosette was that the test should be a substantial part, when it said in whole or in part. In whole was intended to deal with Hitler's intent to, de to destroy all the Jews. But in part was put in there to say, you do not need to intend to destroy all of them. And I said, the appropriate test and interpretation of in part would be in substantial part. And at that time, I argued successfully to the World Court that they had exterminated about 250,000 Bosnian Muslims out of a population of 2.5 million Bosnian Muslims, say 10%. And that qualified as a substantial part. Now, when the war was over, that figure uh, was wound down to about 100,000. But as we'll see, uh, it doesn't make any difference uh, when it comes to uh, genocide. The World Court agreed with me and issued orders on 8 April 1993 and later on 13 September 1993, ordering Yugoslavia to cease and desist from committing all acts of genocide uh, against the Bosnians, both directly and indirectly, by means of surveys. Now, in its final judgment on the merits of the Bosnian case, the World Court definitively agreed with me that the appropriate test would be a substantial part of the population. Not the whole population, but an intent to destroy a substantial part. This uh, language, and I'll see if I can get this, this whole speech uh, published on uh, TamilNet, because I only have a limited amount of uh, time today. I'm not going to quote all of it. This can be found in paragraph 198 of the World Court's uh, opinion. 
in 2007. And in paragraphs 293 and 294, the World Court found that you did not even need 250,000 exterminated Bosnia to constitute genocide. Rather, the World Court ruled that even the 7,000 exterminated Bosnian Muslim men and boys at Srebrenica were enough to constitute genocide. 7,000 constituted genocide because they constituted about one-fifth of the Srebrenica community. Well, I argue here today that since the World Court ruled in its 2007 judgment that the extermination of 7,000 Bosnians at Srebrenica constituted genocide, then a fortiori, certainly Sri Lanka's extermination of about 150,000 Tamils in Vani two years later also constituted genocide. I think the case is clear. And we can certainly win this case at the World Court or any other objective court anywhere in the world that gives us the opportunity to argue this point. And I say that currently I'm the mother, uh, the attorney for the mothers of Srebrenica and Padrina, the women who survived, and convinced the prosecutor for the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia to indict Slobodan Milosevic, the Yugoslav president, for every crime in the ICTY statute, including two counts of genocide. One for genocide in general in Bosnia, the second for genocide at Srebrenica in particular. Uh, he died on trial in The Hague. Uh, and I would say Rajapaksas to The Hague too. Historically, the only way of people who have been subjected to genocide like the Tamils had been able to protect themselves from further extermination and historical annihilation has been an independent state of their own. As we saw in the first six months of 2009, Sri Lanka wantonly, openly, shamelessly, gratuitously exterminated about 150,000 Tamils in Vani, clear-cut genocide. Yet not one state in the entire world rose to protect the Tamils or defend them or even help them as required by Article 1 of the Genocide Convention that says quite clearly that they must have prevented genocide. For this reason, Tamils need a state of their own to protect themselves from further annihilation and extermination by Sri Lanka. An independent state of their own is the only effective protection and the only appropriate reparation for a people such as the Tamils on Sri Lanka who have been the victims of genocide. Bosnia's statehood was the only thing that prevented the Bosnians from going the same way the Jews did starting in 1939. And the creation of the independent state of Tamil Ilan will be the only thing preventing the Tamils on Sri Lanka 
from going the way of history. That is why we are here today to adopt the Tamil Elam Freedom Charter. Create the state of Tamil Elam. Thank you.